Hello and welcome to Hastings Digital Museum from Hastings Museum and Art Gallery. I'm Dan Simpson and I'm going to lead you through a creative writing workshop to create your own original poetry based on some of the amazing items found in the museum. So grab yourself a pen and paper or a laptop if you prefer. You can even write on your phone, whatever you find easiest to write with. And let's get ready to go. One of the collections I love in the museum is the Decorative Arts Collection. There are over 2,000 objects of these amazing crafted pieces from around the UK and Europe, and even from Hastings and Sussex itself. So we're going to pick one of these items to respond to and use it as the inspiration for our own writing. So your first job in this exercise is to simply pick an item. I'm going to put a link on the screen and in the comments below. So if you can click on that, find yourself an item that you like the look of, whatever speaks to you. OK, so now you've found your artefact, the object that speaks to you in a way maybe you don't even know yet. We're going to use this as part of our inspiration to write today. So for this exercise, you're going to need your piece of paper. And if you're writing on it, you can fold it into four. So you have four sections. If you're typing on a phone or a laptop, simply label each section one, two, three or four. We're going to write about four different topics to start this exercise. So give you a second to do that. I'm going to take you through each section now. So four sections of different writing. In each of the boxes on your piece of paper or under each heading, one, two, three, and four, I'd like you to write four or five sentences. These don't have to be very long. They could be three or four words. Maybe they're a bit longer, 12 to 15 words, perhaps. Try and mix up the length of them. I'll give you each section. And if you can pause the video after I announce the, uh, the subject of the section, that'll be wonderful. So for the first section, and remember, you're just writing four or five simple sentences. You could use similes, you could use metaphors if a bit of poetry bubbles up, but these can be simple. So for your first section, I'd like you to simply look out your window or remember the sky today. Describe the sky. Perhaps you want to tap into how it makes you feel. Is there any movements, colour? What do the clouds look like? So write four or five sentences about your sky today. OK, second section. What I'd like you to write for this in your second box or under the number two in your document is how you feel today. Maybe how you feel this week. Try not to start each sentence with I feel. Maybe mix it up a little bit. What does that feeling look like for you? What does it feel like? Tap into your senses. If that feeling or emotion was a smell or a sound, what would it be? Describing how you feel this week in four or five simple sentences. That's section two. OK, for section three, I would like you to write four or five simple sentences about the artefact you've chosen. So have a look at it on that link you looked at earlier. What comes up? Maybe some simple description is good here. Does it bring up any feelings or emotions? Do you think there's a story behind it? Four or five simple sentences about this artefact you've chosen. OK, section four, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'd like you to find some text. You can do this in a couple of ways. Perhaps look through your messages, maybe on email or text, and find some interesting phrases people have sent you. You could grab a book from nearby, turn to a random page and write down any sentence that grabs you. So you're going to find some text from somebody else. So again, four or five sentences of this found text, and that'll be your final section for our generation in section four. So by now, you should have these four boxes or four sections of writing, these four very disparate and different topics that you've written about, including the artefact from Hastings Museum. What we're going to do now is mix these sentences up in a cut up technique. There's only one restriction I'm going to give you. You can't put two sentences next to each other from the same section. So a good place to start from this is simply reading through the material you've created. Find your favourite sentence. That's the first line of this poem. Then have a look through the other sections. What line seems to fit with it? Maybe there's a happy rhyme. Maybe there's a repeated word. Perhaps it seems to fit in a way that the theme develops. 